list of the statistics that we could generate and over here is the ones that are currently being displayed okay so you can actually see that in the display section here the statistic is count so i just want to get rid of count I'm going to get it out of there okay, it's gone back over there uh, so now nothing is being displayed and what i'm going to say is okay down the column Okay, down the column, don't forget, male and female, although they're represented on rows, they're listed in a column. So I'm going to say down the column, what I'd like to do is I'd like to put in the column percentage. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to go apply to selection. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to hit close. And then you can see I've got column percentage here. Yeah, and I'm going to hit N. I'm going to hit OK. And there we have, well, the 1,121 males actually represents 59.8% uh, of, the, of the sample, uh, which is 59.8% of the sample are males, whereas the 754 females actually equates to 40.2%. So you can see what's happening here. Let's do some other variable that has a little bit more information in it. Okay? Uh, let's go to Analyze, Tables. Let's go to Custom Tables. Uh, let's hit OK. And I'm just going to reset this here by hitting the reset button. Okay, that's a nice way to uh, re do. Would you like to reset all tabs in this window or reset the current tab only? I'm going to say all tabs, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is this is I'm going to look at the salary variable. But this time, not the scaled variable, not the, not the scaled variable, I'm going to look at the salary band. So we've defined a variable that's called salary band uh, that has placed each employee within a salary band based on their salary. So I'm just going to take salary band and I'm going to put that into roles and actually see what's happening here. So once again, the default is count. I'm going to hit OK on that. And now I get a table that represents how many employees are falling into each of the each of the salary bands. So you can actually see that the, 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 the modal band, there's a keyword here modal meaning the most frequent the modal class or the modal category or the modal salary band uh, is actually less than twenty thousand euros most most people and uh, most employees are within that particular band yeah if that makes sense yeah and uh, the next largest band is 20 to forty thousand. then we have 83 people in 40 to fifty thousand, two hundred fifty five and 50 to 60 thousand euros and 177 people in 60 to seventy thousand. and then we have this small very small number 32 people in the seventy thousand plus from a percentage perspective what's this as a percentage i'm going to go to analyze tables custom tables uh, hit OK. I don't want to show this dialog again. Hit OK. Uh, and this time, instead of count, I'm just going to click on the table here. Instead of this count, I'm going to hit change, define the summary statistics. Instead of count, I want to define once again down the column, because the categories are listed down a column, uh, I want to define the percentages in there. Okay, so I'm going to hit, hit apply to selection and I'm going to hit close. And then we have the same thing again. This time we have our percentages. In other words, 41.9% of the employees within this organization earn less than 40,000 euros. Yeah, 1.7% of the employees earn 70 plus thousand. Yeah, okay? so you can see what we have now is we have this. I suppose the proper name to use for these particular tables now would be they are tables, but I suppose they're grouped. This one here is a grouped frequency distribution, okay? Whereas this one here is a grouped a percentage frequency distribution or a percentage group frequency distribution. Uh, now, in one of my other videos, I've talked about probabilities, the, the likelihood of a particular observation, yeah, of selecting a particular observation at random. So these percentages can be considered also as probabilities, probabilities of a person falling into a particular class or into a particular category of salary. So we have 41.9% of employees fall in the less than 40,000 euros category, which means that the likelihood of us randomly selecting somebody and them falling in the less than 40,000 euros category would be 0 0.419. So if we divide this percentage by 100, it gives us the actual probabilities associated with each one of these particular classes, yeah? which then allows us to build what's known as a probability distribution. In this case, it's our observed probability distribution for our sample. Okay? Uh, but maybe we'll talk about that later on in a, li in a little bit more detail. Now, what we can also do is we can we can we can cross tabulate across across variables. 
Albeit there is a specific function that allows us to do cross tabulation in SPSS. Uh, if I go to analyze descriptive statistics, there is a cross tabs function here that allows us to do more than just producing tables that are two dimensional, yeah, where we have uh, two variables cross tabulated. It allows us to do some more inferential tests. For example, allows us to test, test for independence uh, and dependence uh, using chi squared tests and so on. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to look at tables. Custom tables, uh, I'm going to choose, and this time, what I'd like to see is, okay, I've got the salary band here, I've got their percentages, but I wonder what is the percentage mix like in the salary bands across genders, yeah? So what I'll do is I'll take the gender variable and I'll put that into my columns here, okay? And now you can see what we have is the columns, The co it's, this column has gender, uh, there's two levels of measurement, males and females, so males and females are now listed down a specific column, okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK on that, and what we do is we get our we get our values out here like this. Okay, now just to be careful here because uh, uh, this is saying here, uh, let's say that 32% are in here. 32% of the males are in here, 27% of the males are in there, 43% uh, of the males are in 40 to 50.